Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss how to integrate AWS Lambda with AWS SNS in .NET. AWS SNS is a simple notification service which is mainly used as a published subscriber model where which we can create a topic in SNS so and we can publish our messages to the topic and we can have the subscribers like many subscribers can subscribe to the topic so that whenever a message gets published to the topic the subscribers will be notified and the subscribers can receive the message and they can process the message so in this way we use the simple notification service it is a publish subscribe model so in this video we will create a lambda function and we will deploy the lambda function to AWS after that we will create a topic in SNS and we will trigger the lambda function by whenever a message gets published to that uh, topic the lambda function will be triggered so let us quickly jump to our video first of all let us open the design studio to create a lambda function so to create a lambda function let me open the design studio i have visual studio i'm sorry design studio not design studio visual studio so let me open the visual studio i have the visual studio 2022 microsoft visual studio here let us click on this create new project and here we will choose the template of lambda so let us search for aws lambda so here you please check this aws lambda project dot net core c sharp a c sharp project for creating a lambda functions using dot net core so let us choose this template and click on next so let us give the project name as aws lambda trigger sns so this is the lambda function which will triggered by the sns so whenever a message gets published this lambda function will be triggered so that is why i have given this name let me click on create here it is asking to choose the blueprint so let us select the blueprint of sns so simple notification service so a project for responding to sns event notifications so let us choose this and click on finish so now the project will be created and in that project will have the function and that is a simple uh, code in the function we will not change any of the code in that function so let me go to the solution explorer it is still loading so this is the function if you observe uh, this function in this function we have this function handler where it receives the sns event and here it is calling internally this message process record async so here it is uh, receiving this sns record and it is logging the information message information to the cloud watch so that we can confirm that this function has triggered by the sns so if we create in this way the function by choosing the template of sns simple notification service all the required dependencies and nuget packages will be installed automatically by the visual studio all the required packages like lambda core lambda sns events everything it will add by itself the visual studio so the function is ready now we will publish this function to aws so in one of my videos i have explained how to connect to aws from the visual studio if you want you can just go through that video so as we have already connected the this visual studio environment to aws so we can just right click on this project and click on publish to aws lambda here we need to give the function name we'll give the name as uh, sns lambda trigger right and the other this is the function handler we have and the other things we will leave as default this is the region profile i have explained how we get this profile when we connect to the visual studio so click on next just wait for a minute it is taking time so roll here select an iam role to provide aws credentials to our lambda function allowing access to aws services so we need to provide a role for this so let me choose 
AWS Lambda role default policy. So the role name is new role based on Lambda manager policy. So it is going to create the new role and the other topics we will leave as is and click on upload. Now the function will be created in AWS so we can ch check that function. So if you go to the management console, this is my AWS management console and this is the Lambda service. Click on Lambda. Once that function that which we are publishing from Visual Studio, it gets published it successfully. We can see that function here. For now, we have only the customer test. So let, let us wait. I'm sorry, let us wait for a minute. So it is going to publish it. Once this function gets published, we can check the function in the list of Lambda functions there in AWS Management Console. So the next thing after this we have to do is we will go to the SNS Simple Notification Service and we will create a topic. So this has completed. So let us go to the AWS Management Console. Let us refresh. Here we are seeing this SNS Lambda trigger that which we have published just now from Visual Studio. Now we have the function ready. Let us uh, go to the service SNS, simple notification service. So this is the, let us open in a new tab. So here we will create a topic. For now we have only one topic. Let us click on topics and create topic. So we have two types, first and first out and standard. For this, let us click on standard and the topic let us choose as Lambda SNS and the display name optional, but we will give the same name as the display name, underscore display name, underscore display, okay. And the other things I will lose, I will uh, leave as is. Click on create topic. Now we have created the topic. So let us go to the Lambda function. Uh, this is the Lambda function and we have to provide permissions to this Lambda function to read the topic. So for that first, uh, let us copy this ARN. This is the ARN of the topic. We have to give this ARN while creating the permissions in the Lambda function. So click on configuration tab here. We have permissions for now. I don't have any permissions to access the SNS. So let us create permissions Lambda EXCC SNS Lambda trigger. So this is the function this is the role. So now we will give the permissions to this role to access the SNS. So for that here click on this drop down and click on create inline policy and which is the topic as which is the service so it is asking to select a service so let us select this sns and all sns actions for now i am giving and to this specific uh, topic what is the specific topic the arn that which we have copied just now this arn is the ARN because this is the topic of this is the ARN of the topic. So let us give this ARN and click on add ARNs. Now this has been added. Click on next. Click on now to give the policy name SNS Lambda SNS policy. Click on create policy. Now this policy gives the permissions to our Lambda function to read messages from the SNS. So now if you now if you see we don't have that but let us refresh it so that we will see Amazon SNS. So by resource. So these are all the permissions now we got on this Lambda function. And again uh, we can check the logs here under monitor tab. So, but it is saying your function does not have permission to write to Amazon CloudWatch logs. So it is asking to provide permissions. So let us open in IAM.
so this is the role that we have created sns lambda so to this role let us provide the permissions to access to access the cloudwatch logs so let us search for cloudwatch no 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 here click and attach policies in this policy we will search for cloudwatch so aws cloudwatch cloud formation cloud front cloudwatch logs here cloudwatch logs full access so when we give this policy it will provide full access to the cloudwatch logs so that our lambda function will have the permissions to write logs and to create the log groups so that is why we have to provide this policy so click on this and click on add permissions now this got this policy as well cloudwatch logs so that if you see here now in the configuration now we have only sns and lambda but if we refresh we will have the permissions for the cloudwatch as well so amazon cloudwatch logs now we have all the required uh, functions and topics got created let us test our lambda function so before testing we have to trigger this lambda function through sns so how do we can trigger so here add trigger just click on this add trigger because we want to trigger this function through sns so here the trigger configuration under the trigger configuration select the service sns this is the service and under the sns we have to choose the topic so we have created lambda sns this topic let us choose the topic and click on add now we have added the trigger also to this lambda function let us test this how do we test it we will publish a message on the topic so that our lambda function should trigger immediately and it will write that message to the cloudwatch logs so let us go to the sns here we have the option to publish the message so click on publish under the message details my first message under the message body my first message body so let us click on publish message now this will trigger our lambda function how do we confirm that our lambda function has triggered successfully by checking the logs go to the monitor in our lambda function click on monitor tab here click on view cloudwatch logs so the lambda function is writing log to the cloudwatch so log group under the log group it is opening just wait now this is the log group if you open this log group here you can see the message my first message body so in this way we can trigger the aws lambda function whenever a message gets published to the sns simple notification service thank you friends thank you so much